of gods and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir cruelly killed, yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made, the world you walk and war upon. Oh, there you are, my little bringer. Go. Oh, is he our king? Yes, good. Come on, Eva. Did you find the, the ring? Yes. Now, now for our little plan. You see us talking, quiet as a wood mouse, and surprise them with our gift. You hold it out, like this, you look him in the eyes and you say, Styrbjörn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. I think you can do that for me. Good. Tonight, you will be the court and unite our people. Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have a tribute for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy long ships. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. You're not getting any meat. When you speak with the king, hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You are just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. And that's in the morning. First light. Abel, wait. Skull! Custodio! The true king of Burgafoga! Tonight, we're all made a new skull! Ah. Abel, Abel. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. 
comes. Oh, then Smeed a fourth will bring. The noble deeds that gonna sing. The brave men slain, Valkyrie awaits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! For those who fight! Ready yourself, men! Not you, Reva. Not just yet.
same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. Have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death would be a lonely one. Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. To the ship! You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now what did I just tell you? <laughs> Away in the sword class. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! 
Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many... ...years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back Good its Good idea. Edge. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. There's something wrong. Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. <laughs> 